Well, hello, hello, all my amazingly beautiful Virgo friends. My name is Libra Empress, and we're going to be discussing your tarot for today. Now, remember that this is a general reading, and this is for yours as well as for my entertainment. And also, please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. That way, you'll always be up to date with the content that I produce, and you'll be a part of our family, all right? All right. Now, I got three piles for you, past, present, and future. When we get to the future, remember that that is not set in stone. And I have a fourth deck, which is full of energy from your past to your future, so like past present future now um it'll resonate or it won't that's just how it goes if this isn't your story that's okay you know there's other tarot readers and stuff but i think the best way to get your story is to get a personal reading done by a tarot reader that you absolutely trust and love and adore all right now let's get going yeah all right now my beautiful beautiful my beautiful virgos i had a moment um, your past energy is the nine of hazards prosperity independence and confidence so while the world was losing its head you kept a cool calm collective you know you're building from nothing knight of swords brave ego lack of emotion you're dealing with a libra gemini or an aquarius someone who rushes into a situation headstrong head first and makes waves think of it as like a storm on the ocean like the like the air comes in and you know the storm comes in and it riles it up and it changes the ocean and gets it thinking and moving and flowing and then it slowly dissipates out of there and the ocean is still a little bit of ele electricity going through it right yeah got the sun card Success, enlightenment, hope. So good things. Yeah, you're you're not being left behind. Someone's coming back for you. You're very successful. Virgo, you've got the Ten of Cups. Peace, contentment, and family. You're enjoying yourself. Oh, yes, you are. You're just like, where the world's going to hell over there, you're just chilling over here with your family, yeah? All right, current energy is the Ten of Swords. Disaster, rotten ruin, and destruction. So you are fighting for everything you have, and everybody wants to keep taking, taking, taking. This is also a huge betrayal. Someone really, f they're not right in the head, they're really fucked up in the head. Hurt you mentally, emotionally, or physically. Take it as it is. You deserve a lot better. Ace of Swords, and this is all current, okay? Trials, intellect, and action. You've got to think about what you're going to say and how you're going to say it to who you're going to say it to. All right? You're going to be burning bridges, and you can't go back. Queen of Hazards. You're dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, or a Virgo. Materialistic, confidence, and practical. Someone who's good with their money. Someone who loves making money. Sorry, my phone is going off. Um, cool, man. <sighs> okay, so this queen of hazards, she's a hard ass on the outside, but a soft and gooey ass on the inside, all right? She sees something in you that you don't see in yourself. She wants you to be better. She's pushing you. She would have hired you if she didn't see that spark. She sees you as a go-getter. Ace of Hazards. Possibilities, financial rewards, and new relationships. My favorite is the high five from the undead. Yeah. And a high five. I love high fives. You could be dealing with an um, abusive, in a, an abusive relationship, but I didn't see the devil card, so let's just keep a lookout for it, right? Future energy, the world, lessons learned, end of a journey, and completion. While the world's going hell, you are okay. You're safe right there. Yeah. Growing, four of hazards, selfishness, hoarding, and possessiveness. You're not sharing. You say, back your shit down. Leave me alone. I'm not sharing. I'm very possessive of what's mine. 
Seven of Cups, Choices, Consideration, and Daydreams. So you've got choices to make, Virgo. A lot of them, actually. But here's the thing. If you don't make a decision, a decision will be made for you. And if a decision is made for you, you might not like the decision that's made for you or the outcome. So make a decision that best fits you. Think, you know, think about the pros and cons. Outweigh them, right? Yeah. Kind of makes me feel like you're fighting for your family. Ten of hazards. Wealth, family, and contentment. You're happy, content. Everything's going good. So you might be fighting for your family. I don't see a three of three of three of swords or anything. So I don't see anybody trying to steal a spouse or third party in any way or devil energy. Okay, fourth fourth pile. Are you ready, Virgos? All right, my beautiful friends. King of Hazards, distant, hardworking, and businessman. Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Someone who's good with their money, not so good with their words or heart. The Hanged Man, a turning point, accepting of a situation, and sacrifice. You're also dealing with a Scorpio energy. Five of Hazards, poverty, financial loss, and anxiety. But don't... Don't give up. It's somewhere along this line between past, present, and future. Don't give up. You're not alone. Eight of Cups. Moving on tr from troubled relationships and change. You're saying, fuck you later, alligator. I'm out. I can't do this no more. I can't do this anymore. I want what's best for my family. So I'm going to keep trying. Keep working my ass off. King of Swords. Stubborn, authoritative, and... Judgmental, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Now, Virgo, you have the Strength card here. It's a Leo card. Leo energy, resolve, conviction, and inner determination. When I think of Leo, I think of a lion. Are you a lion or a lioness? Definitely fighting for your family. Page of Swords, inquisitive, headstrong, and observant. Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. Someone's watching. And when shit hits the fan... You can run to them, and they've got a plan. The chariot, cancer energy, travel, conquest, or progress, and or progress. So you're leaving. You're going on an adventure, aren't you? Eight of swords, lack of action, victimization, and no-win situations. You're a little bit trapped in your head. Yes. I'm allowed to turn it. Sorry about that. I had to pause it. My little boy, he, the battery in the paddle died, so I had to reset it and plug it in for him. So we're good now, so he can continue playing Sonic on the on the Xbox. Anyway, let's continue on. Now, my beautiful Virgos, Eight of Swords, lack of action, victimization, and no-win situations. You're feeling like you're trapped in your head. Yes, you do, but you're not. I promise you. Two of Wands, choices, crossroads, and decisions. You've got a choice to make. Make it wisely. But you also got the Two of Swords, so with the whole Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords, you're still kind of stuck in your head over this. Indecision, difficult decisions, and different views. <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> All right. Seven of Wands. Challenges, competition, and persistence. Now, Virgo. My beautiful Virgos. There you are, fighting. You're fighting people off. Get away from that. That's mine. That's mine. That's mine. Knock your shit off. Back your shit down. That is mine. I worked hard for it. Go get your own. That's exactly how you feel. With Star... Recognition, inspiration, and achievements. You're dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah. Wish fulfillment. You're doing great. Two of hazards. Balance, harmony, and juggling responsibilities. You're waiting for the reinforcements to come in. The Calvary. You're getting tired of juggling. The will of fortune. Luck, fate, and destiny. It's all falling into place, isn't it? Alright, you've got the Knight of Cups. 
romance, adventure, and moody. Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Oh, yeah. This is the player card, though. Do you want to be played? Oh, hell no, you don't. But this might be someone you know. When I... In normal decks, it's not the player card. It's the... The really slow-ass knight. I take him as the player card because of the fact that in his story, it talks about him on a whim of his moodiness runs off with your heart. Yeah, so it's like, watch your heart. And it's like, oh, I'm staying away from him or her. Right? Seven of hazards. Patience, gain, and progress. You're doing it. You're patiently waiting the progress and getting gain out of it. Six of swords. Travel, leaving the past, and transitioning. You are dropping all baggage. Mental baggage, that is. You are moving away from this chaos down here. You're like, fuck you later, alligator. I'm out. I'm going to calmer waters back there by the moon. Oh, yes. I don't want to be here no more. I don't want to deal with this drama. No more I deserve to be pampered, to be treated with respect and love. And you're taking your ace of cups with you. New, new relationships, beginnings, and emotional journeys. You are, yes. And you're dealing with a queen of swords. Intelligent, sharp tongue, and unscrupulous. A Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Whew. What a reading. Now, are you ready for the bottom of the deck? Yeah. Alright, the bottom of the deck, my beautiful Virgos, is the Three of Wands. Cooperation, progress, and group effort. Y'all are coming together. Yeah. Way awesome, right? Heck yeah. So right now you're going through a little bit of a, a that's mine, get away from me phase. And you're fighting for your family. But you're not fighting for your family by yourself. You've got other people who are doing it with you. Not against you, but with you. And that's what's great. You're working together. Progress. Now I love you. You're going to have a great day today. Please don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and share. And join me again for tomorrow's Daily Horoscope or next time's Tarot. Now, also, if you want to leave a comment but you don't want it to be made public, what you can do is go to my YouTube channel, go to the About section, look up my name, get on Facebook Messenger, type in my name, and look me up and talk to me. Be like, hey, this is Virgo. And that's all you have to say is, hey, this is Virgo. I need to talk. And I'll be like, oh, what's wrong? And, you know... You'll tell me, obviously, if you want. I'm very confidential, and also, um, I have a non-judgmental ear. Alright, so, I mean, if that's an option, if you if you need to vent and you have nobody to talk to, I'm here for you. Alright, that's what family does. We're a Zodiac family. You're part of our family. Now I love you. Um, I will see you for tomorrow's Daily Horoscope or next time's Tarot, yeah? Okay. Love you. Bye, my beautiful Virgos.